Yeah, not only is Dan Morgan familiar with the roster, but he is also one of the greats to play for Carolina. So you could say they're keeping it within the family and with the baggage that the Panthers have, that might be best. Tonight we take a look at the Panthers' new GM and the task ahead of him. Behind the scenes, there's been a lot of different changes in the building and a lot of things that have come, become a lot better inside the building. And inside the building is exactly where the Panthers have decided to stay when hiring their next general manager. As the team announced on Monday that they have promoted Dan Morgan from assistant GM to president of football operations and general manager. In a press release put out by the team, Panthers owner David Tepper said this about Morgan's promotion. Quote, Dan has a thorough knowledge of our football personnel and a clear vision to take us where we all want to go. We know he will attack this opportunity with the same intensity he did as a Panthers player. We like our team now, but we're always trying to get better. We're always trying to upgrade and we're going to do that by any means. Five months later and the former Panthers linebacker is now in charge of finding those means to building a roster that can win more than two games. The product on the field is just not good enough right now. It just isn't. Morgan, however, was more than good enough on the field. He was the Panthers' first round pick in 2001 and was a part of the defense that got the franchise to its first Super Bowl. With Dan Morgan, the middle linebacker, making the tackle. A defense that is now considered Panthers pedigree. But the concern for the Panthers isn't the defense. It's fixing an offense that finished dead last in the league and salvaging any confidence of a young rookie quarterback and surrounding him with an appropriate supporting cast. Outside, but it's incomplete. And, you know, from our perspective, we're just looking to get better as a team. So we're, it doesn't matter what position it is and where we are from a roster count or who's hurt. We're just trying to get better and, f and find better players and, and upgrade players from our depth standpoint. All right, so not 10 minutes before this news broke this evening, I was trying to put together that piece, and I go to Gabe, and I yeah. say, all right, so are we, calling, are we calling Dan Morgan a top candidate? Like, is that, is that what the consensus is? Because I don't think that was the consensus around Charlotte, and then here we go. Yeah, I think higher. that was a big thing, too. We were all expecting, you know, just them to completely clean house. I think that's what a lot of fans expected. That's a lot, a lot, what a lot of us expected, them to completely just go in a different direction, try to bring in new blood all across the building. But I think – this is the guy who obviously knows all about the mantra of this franchise, what it means. He wants to get this franchise back to new heights. He was here during the first run of greatness. He wants to definitely get this team back there, and I think he's more than capable of doing so. The main thing is just, I think, him being his own man. Now that he's yeah. making those decisions for himself, he's not the assistant anymore, now it's on you. So you got to be able to make a lot of those moves, bring in somebody who is obviously on the same page as you, because I think that's something we really haven't had the past couple of years is the GM and the head coach from one accord. And I think now that he's in this spot and can handpick the head coach, now we'll start to see that more.